Yeah, sure. Public television. Real sensationalist circus schlock. Yeah, that's what we thought. I don't think so. See, Teller and I are a couple of real artsy, craftsy hacks. We were asked to do a special for public television. We were real excited. We said we're going to rise to the occasion. We're going to do some real artistic art stuff, right? So it was great. I was going to open with a mime piece called The Birth of a Baby Ghetto. And Teller, who doesn't speak in the show, was going to do real artsy, craftsy poetry reading stuff edifying the public right it's beautiful stuff really nice pretty very carefully done stuff and they said more exciting more exciting more exciting people that do 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 masterpiece theater in the evening of the symphony want us to be more artsy craftsy sensationalist circus sh so we've compromised we have here a uh, straight straight i like you stand up please in time this straight straight this is four buckles right across the back. Just get all the buckles there. You gotta do something else. And, and Cordelia Stone, she's our director. Now, as you know, Cordelia do it. And this time, us new director, she said she wanted something a little bit. They will leave us over. You gotta do something else. And, and Cordelia Stone, she's our Cordelia Stone. More exciting. That's where they put it. They don't put it cheap. Put it through the loop over there. And then pull these two arms together, okay? The more you can hurt them, more exciting. That's where they put it. And then pull these two arms together, okay? The more you can hurt them, the more you can hurt them for public TV, okay? Tighten up real good, okay? Really, really good. Just let me help you here. Let me help you here. Here you go. Just really tug. Here you go. Just really tug. Here you go. Just let me help you here. Just really tug. Here you go. Just put that in there. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I See, we were going to do. We watched Masterpiece Theater. We start Night of the Symphony. Let me do this one, Teller, because a dog shouldn't have to. Yeah. Get this one right out of the way. We watched these things. We thought the kind of stuff they wanted was like poetry reading. And they said no. They wanted something a little bit more like poetry reading. So we came up with this. It, and it is, watch it, Tom. It is a bit of a compromise. Is that okay? And I just want you to know that that all this stuff, these the gravity boots, the whole red wall, hot snow, meat of air, you can see hot civil. It is a bit of a compromise, okay? I am going to open the poetry reading, but see, public TV, when they think of magic, they think of some razzle-dazzle and exciting greasy guy in a tux with a lot of birds. Or, and I think that even though you might have been expecting something a bit more sensational, that I read this poem well enough that you will be suitably impressed. <laughs> Ernest Lawrence Thayer. Thayer. Not a very famous name, but that man wrote perhaps the most famous American poem. And they said, no, the poem is entitled The Bat. Yet Casey, it is subtitled the Year 1888. And I shall be reading The Ballad of the Republic for you this evening in exactly 16 seconds, after which I will jump to my feet and take my final bow. <laughs> Casey at the bat. Casey at the bat. Casey at the bat. Casey at the bat. The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville, but that day, the score stood four to two, nine, with one but left to play. Yay. So when C C Cooney di 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 died at first and Barrows did the same, Cordelia Stone fell upon the patrons of the game. But Flynn preceded Casey. As the awesome team break. The former was a Lulu, a Lulu, a Lulu, a Lulu. And the latter was a human breast cake. I see a lot of the line the and all. For there seemed but little chance of there seemed but little chance of Casey getting to the back. For Mighty Casey. Mighty was advancing to the butt. He lightly doffed his hat. That's his pause. He lightly doffed his hat. That's his pause. And now his eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Oh, now his nose blood him when he wiped him off. Yes, sir. The wild riding pitcher brought the ball into his hip. The fire gleaming Casey's eyes. Sneered Casey's eyes. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill the umpire! Shouted someone in the stand. It's likely they'd have killed him. And now Casey raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey's vision shown. He stilled the rising tumult. He made the game go on. He signaled to the pitcher and was more than a steroid flu. But Casey still ignored it and the umpire said, Start two! I'm 
bitch, don't come on the street, like, oh, no, 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 From the seat I'm seated in to take my final bow, I am sure you'll be suitably impressed.